June 9th, 2021, on our way to Nigeria. We were explaining to the girls to remember to use sign language because Eden's deaf and she can't hear us. There we are at the orphanage. She just came in, we got to meet her for the first time. <laughs> How surreal was it for you? Yeah, it was like a year and a half of paperwork, and then we're finally getting to meet her. It's so crazy. Teaching her the name signs, showing her Harriet's name sign. <laughs> There's a little picture. That's Wella. Try and tell her that's Wella. She's. She... Her eyes were. They they wouldn't focus on anything. She would just kind of like look around, and every now and then she'd look with a thought in her mind she'd wave or she'd grab something but she she was really hard to focus in on anything she'd never been taught anything so she'd never been taught sign language um at the orphanage they pretty much just had her in front of cartoons and i think they just kind of you know if she threw a tantrum gave her whatever she wanted yeah they would just give her whatever So here we are, We're, I'm trying to show her a few signs, showing her shoes, and for shoes, Harriet's like, Harriet's don't touch me. Harriet's <laughs> figured out. <laughs> Harriet's like nervous. She's grabbing Harriet, Harriet's like, eh, no, mommy. <laughs> Here's our first family photo. So then we decided to go outside and play. And we were just trying to do anything we can to kind of like... Show be, her that we're fun. Yeah. Get her involved in our family. Start the bonding process. Get our daughters involved with her. Get Harriet comfortable with her. Get her comfortable with Wella. Yeah. Oh, she noticed our tattoos. So she's she was very observant yeah. from the beginning. She wanted to know. We're trying to just explain to her everything. Your name. This is your name. But she really, she had no concept of, of anything. Like, she really had zero language and communication. Yeah. And uh, we're not really sure exactly how old she is. At this point, we were told that she was... Um, six. Yeah. We were told that she was, like, six. But that's probably not super accurate. She might be seven or eight. Because um, oftentimes they'll say the children are younger because it makes them more adoptable and families, if sadly. If they don't get adopted, then they have longer to be adopted. True. Because technically they won't age, age out, out as quickly. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, so we're just doing our best to start communicating with her because that has to be the first main thing is teaching her how to communicate. <laughs> oh, boom. <laughs> <laughs> the tires were locked in a turn. Or one of the tires was locked in a turn. Oh my gosh. So picking it up and letting the back two wheels go is... But it was good because we're finally getting the girls to play together. Yeah. See, Harriet's, Harriet's loosening up. She's yeah. actually being held now. Yeah. yeah. Getting involved. It was a whole different dynamic because when we adopted Wella, it was just Wella. Yeah. And now we have two other kids <laughs> during this bonding process. So it was it was different. It's like giving them all equal attention... Um, yeah, there's just some more complications. Okay, so we printed off these pictures to show her so that she could see that we had she'd these never, images. Yeah, she'd never seen pictures yeah. of herself before. And she got really excited. She could barely contain herself yeah. when she So there's a me. picture of us holding a picture of her. Yeah. So we were trying to show her that, like, we had these pictures and, yeah. Oh, and then she was... She knew, Very excited. She knew about lotion. Yes, she knew what to do with lotion. Yeah. <laughs> this is when we realized that she was underreactive. So um, it's when there's certain pathways in your brain that are underdeveloped or haven't formed yet. You don't feel things as much. Pain doesn't as affect you. It's a reverse. Do. It's a reverse thing. Instead of it feeling pain, it just you might make you laugh or whatever. Right. So there she is. She's trying to bite James. She's trying to. She's just yeah. There. There was a lot happening in this moment. Thankfully, she's no longer. She wanted me to bite her. Because she just didn't know like 
Yeah, she has to. There's certain that. things that don't develop if you're not in a family, if you're not experiencing love, if you're not experiencing bonding. Because now, since she's been in our family and since we have grown attached to her and she's grown attached to us, she does feel pain. She does yeah. feel yeah. discomfort. She knows what's what's not nice and what's nice. Right. And she doesn't have these same characteristics of just kind of doing whatever in the moment. Mm-hmm. She actually thinks things So this and... that's happening here is pretty much is our life for the next couple months. The next year. Teaching. Yeah. Teaching her. Um, you can watch her full documentary on our YouTube channel. So that was our first day with Eden. And now, here we are, two years later. She is happy, she is healthy, she is smart, she knows how to communicate. Brilliant memory. She loves to play outside, she's a great big sister. All the girls communicate in sign language together, which is really sweet. We've started teaching her how to write and read, and she's been making connections with signs and how they're spelled out on paper. So we're just so glad that God supernaturally brought her into our family by telling us to start the adoption for a deaf girl in Africa. And she was the only deaf girl available for adoption in Africa at that time. We We love love you, Eden. Eden. Thanks for watching! Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss our next video.